everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you 10 baby names that i love but won't be using as you can probably tell i'm pregnant with our first baby it's gonna be a baby boy but in this list i will be sharing with you guys a uh, girl and boy names for my husband and i it was quite hard to pick a name because um, yeah, if you're new here on my channel, um, I'm from the Netherlands and my husband is from Turkey, but we are living in Marmaris, Turkey. Uh, and we wanted a name that we can use in both countries. So that is easy to pronounce, um, not too long, uh, but I also don't like very common names or at least names that are very common here in Turkey and in the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, it was quite a challenge to find a name that we both liked. There are so many beautiful names out there, but you definitely need to find a name that you both really love and um, that fits um, your personality. And the names that I will be sharing with you are names that I really like, or maybe my husband didn't like them, or um, they were too long or too difficult to pronounce so yeah i'm going to be sharing them with you and um, if you're looking for some name inspiration or you're just curious and um, so yeah if you're excited for today's video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that and don't forget to subscribe and now let's get started also i changed my setup a little bit because uh, i can't sit on the ground anymore my belly is getting quite big at the moment and it's just a difficult position for me so i'm just sitting here on the couch um yeah let's get started with the first name so the first name is a boy name that i always really loved this was always in my top three but my husband just didn't like it and that is elijah or Elia. In the English language people pronounce it like Elijah which I think is very very beautiful but Elijah I don't know my husband just didn't like it and I guess it's also quite hard to pronounce and I guess that here in Turkey and in the Netherlands they would say Elia which I still think sounds really nice um, and you can shorten it to Eli or Eli but the number 50 here in Turkey is also Eli so i think that's a little bit confusing so yeah, i really really love this name but unfortunately i will never use it so the next name is a girl name and this again was in my top three i love this name for as long as i can remember um it is amelie and i really like the french pronunciation so amelie not emily but we can't use this in turkey because the first few letters <laughs> i'm not gonna say it here it's on youtube but yeah, in turkish it does mean something not very chic so amelie unfortunately i can never use i think i heard this name the first time uh, from the movie amelie um i think it sounds very chic and very feminine and yeah i don't know if you have a little girl and you're looking for a name um i absolutely love amelie but unfortunately, again, I will never use it. So then a boy name that is very popular right now in the Netherlands. And that is Luca or Luca. Um, you can pronounce it two different ways. But I think Luca is such a sweet boy name. It is Italian, I believe, Luca. Um, like I said, it's very popular in the Netherlands. I believe it is in the top five. And my cousin also, he got a baby boy and he named him Luca. So yeah, I think it's a very, very cute name. Um, but yeah, because it is in the top five, I don't know, that just throws me off. I like something a little bit more different, but still, I think it's a very cute boy name. Then the next girl name is Penelope, and you can shorten it to Penny. And I think that is so adorable, but again, it is really difficult to pronounce here in Turkey, Penelope. Um, and Penny, I don't know, I think it's so cute, but my husband says always that I like dog names. <laughs> like Penny, but um, yeah, I think Penelope is so cute for a girl. And I think it sounds very chic as well, again, very feminine. I like very feminine and girly names, I guess. So yeah, Penelope, I really love. Then the next boy name is Boaz. This is a very old uh, biblical name. But Boaz in Turkish means actually this. This is Boaz. So we can't use it here in Turkey. But um, in the Netherlands you hear it 
not that often but you do hear it and i think it's a very masculine name and not too difficult to pronounce but fortunately here in turkey we can't use it but um yeah boas was always on my list as well then the next girl name is a turkish name and that is elif and elif sounds so so cute i think short you can shorten it to Liv. Um, which I think is very adorable but because it is such a common name here in Turkey and you hear it all the time I wouldn't use it but still I think Elif sounds really sweet and maybe if you're living in another country and you want to give your child a Turkish name you can consider Elif but because here in Turkey you hear it all the time I just don't like it <laughs> But um, yeah, Elif, I think it's very, very cute. Then the next boy name is Caleb. And uh, this is again a biblical name. And Caleb sounds very sweet, but also masculine, I think. But they can't pronounce it here. And I think also in the Netherlands, they will say uh, Caleb. And I just really don't like Caleb. And I think here in Turkey, they would say Jaleb, maybe Jaleb. <laughs> Which also sounds very strange. But I really like the sound of Caleb. Um, yeah, it's a very, very beautiful name, I think. Then the next girl name is Pippa. And I just love Pippa. I think it's such an adorable name. I think Pippa I heard for the first time by uh, Pippa Middleton. And I think this is such an adorable name for a girl. Um, you can also shorten it to Pip. But to be honest, I like Pippa a lot better. So yes, Pippa was also always on my list, but my husband says that it's a dog name, so... Then the last boy name is a Turkish name, and that is Mikael. So this is the Turkish version of the angel, and I think Mikael sounds very, very beautiful. And to be honest, Mikael I would use, but a friend of my husband's son is named Mikael, so that's why he doesn't like it. But um, I think the sound of it is very beautiful, Mikael. And you can shorten it to Mika, which I think is so adorable, Mika. Um, that's again a name that I always loved. But um, yeah, unfortunately, we will not use this name. And then the last girl name is Olivia or Livia. Uh, I like them both. Livia is maybe a bit different than Olivia. I know in England this is a very popular name. In the Netherlands maybe you hear it a bit more often. Here in Turkey I never heard Livia or Olivia. But um, I also always love this name. But my husband just says it sounds like Olive. And I also really like Olive to be honest for a little girl, little Olive. I think that's also very adorable. So these were 10 names that I really love but won't be using. Let me know in the comments down below which names you really like. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!